This new Christmas candle, evoking the spirit of the Sun King, has been a very interesting project to work on. What I've come up with, I hope, is its, for its application. And its application is basically as a window display. It's a vitrine, like a, a theatre, a toy theatre. There's great scope, you see, for, for fun. Now, I, I, I'm trying to bring out the childlike quality of Louis. And because it's Christmas, Christmas trees are the thing. So Christmas trees here. It's a witty style. And I think the wit and humour that I try and impart in my drawings is the wit and humour that Trudon try to put into their perfumes as well. There's lots of allusions to presents. Versailles itself is this Louis giving it to the nation as a Christmas present? I wonder, or is it just a Christo project of Versailles under wraps? And then we have other things here. Uh, fireworks here, a balloon. Uh, so you have a few objects, characters on the center stage. This is a sort of evocation of a typical Louis XIV ballet taking the star and centre stage. Louis XIV had great scope for being silly as well. I mean, I think he could be quite ridiculous, which is why I've done him here on his rocking horse. He's like a child, child in the nursery. His nursery happens to be Versailles. He can be king, he can be Roman emperor, a god. He is a god because he's coming down on some clouds to wish everyone a happy Christmas. Not really Papa Noel, but it'll do. And here's a group of uh, courtiers who forever followed Louis around, and here they are giving him a, a round of applause. Is what they all they had to do in life was to applaud everything he did and say, "We, oui, Majesty, no Majesty, me, we," oui. and then and then they they travelled everywhere with him. Well, it was a lovely theme, but basically you've got all the elements there that will make it hopefully arresting and attractive and accessible for everyone. You don't have to be Louis XIV to buy a Sir Trudon candle. It helps. <laughs>